These social media morons publicly insulted Mexican cartels with El Parada setting the scene for why this is a dumb idea. Born April 2000 in the state of Sinaloa, the pirate was from one of Mexico's most dangerous states. Both his mother and father left him at birth, leading to a difficult life full of alcohol addiction, although ironically this made him a social media superstar. El Parada had his friend film him drinking from a bottle, pairing it with the aftermath of when it all kicked in. He'd upload it to his YouTube under El Della Red Label, but didn't expect a viewership of over 300,000. Well, when he realized that his excesses were pleasing to the internet, he knew what his shortcut to popularity was, turning his drunkenness into a profession. He'd start posting video after video of his drinking escapades, always pouring the beverage about an inch above his mouth in the exact same way as his first viral video. This in combination with his small strange appearance made El Parata so extremely memorable, people began to dedicate public statues to him. He'd therefore expand his social media to include cars and women, which grew his Facebook following to over a million and his Instagram to 300,000. Okay, I, I, can't, I really can't even get mad. Get it how you get it, bro. Get it how you get it. Some people doing what they got to do that. Some people just got to use... I don't know. Some people just gotta uh, use what they got just to get some money, bro. I can't even get mad at that, bro. Do what you gotta do. Can't even, I can't even get mad. It ain't no trafficking or nothing. It ain't nothing really all that bad, even though you're hurting yourself drinking because, you know, you can you know eventually die from that. But, hey, whatever gets you money, man, I can't even get mad being paid over a thousand dollars just to show up at a club for a night, although this would always come with one specific problem. Every time El Parada drank, he'd become extremely vocal and borderline aggressive to the extent that he was arrested on more than one occasion. In a 7.6 million view video translating to the pirate response to comments, he spends over three minutes simply yelling at his audience, giving the impression that he thought himself invincible. This would be curbed to some extent when he'd hire a social media manager named Beto Sierra who encouraged El Parada to give up the drinking to increase the longevity of his life and career. Spanish YouTuber Pepe Garza also confronted El Parada about his drinking, questioning haven't you started to think that if you drink a lot of alcohol, at one point it can poison you. The human body isn't made for that, to which El Parada responded immaturely, people always tell me, my friend, how can you handle so much? I just laugh and tell them, well, I don't know. I don't know how I handle so much. To which Pepe again responds, well, I don't like it very much. This is going to get out of control. When he's then asked, where do you see yourself in three years time? El Parada admits that he wants to get sober and instead would like to have a career in music and leave behind this stage characterized by his drunkenness. I want to learn to sing now. That will be my motto. I want to be on stage, but singing and putting on a show. Taking steps to make this happen, it appears in music videos, which only further added to his image as a drinker, especially with a band member stating, there are a lot of people who criticize him, but the truth is that's why El Parada got started, but it would also become the way that El Parada ended. After yet another heavy drinking session, El Parada was filmed insulting Mexican cartels, specifically with the phrase, El Mencho suck my wiener. El Mencho is the head of the CJNG, aka Mexico's second most powerful cartel. His capture offers a bounty of $10 million, as he's considered one of Mexico's most dangerous people. Therefore, El Parada's callout was, not a smart thing to say about a man who'll execute your whole family based on not much more than a rumor. He just has zero regard for human life. But what about free speech? It doesn't exist to the cartels, which have been linked to the murder of at least 12 Jews journalist this past year. El Parada seemed to think very little of his call out, as on the 18th of December 2017, he went about his day as if it were any other. As the evening drew closer, El Parada met with Hot Spanish Vlogs and Ben El Gringo, preparing for what was supposed to be another fun night on the town. In fact, El Parada was having such a good time, he'd post the location of where he was headed, telling his fans to meet him at the bar. However, instead, he'd be met by four men 
driving in a black truck who assassinated El Parada only a minute after getting to the bar. The attack was clearly specifically targeted because as explained by Hot Spanish Vlogs, it's clear they didn't want to hurt me, my friend or any of the girls because if they wanted to, they could have done so easily. His funeral was held in the days that followed with El Parada's social media manager writing, we talk so many times about quitting alcohol and living life too fast, but you never listened. And I don't judge, only you knew what you were doing. Those who knew you knew you were a good person. God have you in his glory. Those responsible for his death have never been apprehended, but the CJNG only seems more obvious after exploring the fate of TikToker El Chinito. El Parada and El Chinito lived in the same city, both having become famous for their goofy vertical videos. El Chinito therefore felt hurt by El Parada's death and just 17 days after would call out the cartel as well. In the 31 Not second smart. video El Chinito Not states, smart. I don't give Not a crap smart. about El Mencho, then proceeds to call him stupid and threatens to drive to his city to find him. In case this wasn't dumb enough, El Chinito then announces where he lives, but it would only be after the call out went viral that El Chinito realized he'd made a huge mistake. The following morning with a blistering hangover, El Chinito apologized. Excuse me, El Mencho, I was very drunk and wasn't in my senses. I am sorry. My respect to the old man subsequently disappearing to keep a low profile. Rumors began to circulate that El Chinito had been executed by hired assassins, but this would be disproven by Margarito Music. He'd find El Chinito in his hometown, who instead of dying had rather gotten married and also had a baby on the way. He now uses his TikTok to document his life, clearly surviving his cartel call out. I think the apology video saved this guy's life. I don't know because they technically know that he got a wife and child. Think about it. They tapped in just like the FBI. They are tapped in just like the FBI. The, the cartel is nothing to play with. They're like the worst gangs to ever even beef with. I think they're the type of people. I'm just saying, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like the, that particular gang won't mess with you un unless you mess with them. I don't know because gangs can look for a fight. can't hurt anybody if they choose to out of random because they don't care about human life. That's also true. Still got to watch out for him. Got to keep your distance. No, nah, I don't know. I don't know nothing. I'm just basing my opinion. Illuminati 6, however, wasn't quite so lucky. He gained a following by doing dares on TikTok Live, one of which being, I dare you to challenge El Mencho. Well, Illuminati 6 had zero hesitation. Listen here, you son of a bitch. El Mencho, you can suck my wiener 100%. I don't sleep like El Parada or El Chinito. I'm immortal, untouchable. I made a pact with the devil. I came to give you fire, Mencho. I'm not scared to say this, I'll say it without the camera. Mencho can suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't instantly. <laughs> this man is already dead just because they haven't warned him. This little boy has his days numbered. Not even the devil is going to save him. Illuminati 6 quickly realized his mistake and uploaded a second video begging for forgiveness. I'm sorry for what I said. I was not well. I was wrong. That day I woke up stupid. I didn't look at the consequences. I did that for followers. I apologize. We all make mistakes. Mencho, don't kill me. I have a family just like you, but this only added more exposure to his original cartel callout. Mm -hmm. People began to joke, play the video of how they kill him. It would be great to see, but I don't think anybody expected that this would actually happen. It has since been theorized that the person in the video is someone else completely, but there's absolutely no confusion in the case of Fofo Marquez. He's best described as the Mexican Dan Bulzerian, although without so many women. His TikTok is dedicated to bragging about money, showing his private jets and driving luxury cars. But Fofo also hides the fact that he's from a mega wealthy family. In case being a Nepo baby isn't already unlikable enough, he refers to himself as millionaire boy, making what would happen next all the more satisfying. Fofo planned on doing a prank that would anger his whole city. Drive three luxury cars onto a main bridge before parking in the middle of the road to block all lanes of traffic. As he and his friends get out of the cars, Fofo proceeds to state, we have closed
closed it for ourselves. This is what I want to demonstrate, what money and power can do. We've been here for several minutes, let's do some TikTok dances. Look, 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 this right here is power, I am the king of Mexico. Fofo put it on his TikTok expecting a positive response, and while it gained 10 million views in under 24 hours, its virality was due to all the wrong reasons. Thank you Fofo, you are an example for me. It is an inspiration to study and never be like you, but his terrible prank reached further than social media. Mayor Pablo Lemus threatened to bring charges against him for blocking traffic and endangering drivers on the road. After the rebuke, Marquez went back to social media to publicly apologize. It stayed in his apology, my comments about money and power were perhaps stupid and I'll happily pay whatever fine I'm given. But the mayor responded to the apology by saying Marquez would have to complete community service, cleaning up below the very bridge he shut down, which Fofo Marquez was more than happy to do until the CJNG got involved. The cartel unexpectedly issued a public statement. As many know or are just learning about, the influencer or scum named Rodolfo Marquez, who dared to close traffic, is an act we do not tolerate. We're the ones in charge of Jalisco and all of Mexico. And to you, Fofo, we tell you to be careful because we will not let you come thinking you can do whatever you want. Here in Jalisco, Mr. Mencho is in charge. If we see you again, we'll kidnap you, and not even the money you have will help you. Sincerely, CJNG. Six days later, YouTuber Dom and Guero met up with Fofo, who was hiding out in his parents' mansion and being protected by 30 security guards. Throughout the interview, Fofo states, rich people are the most intelligent people, only making him even more hated. Rich people are the smartest people, said by a kid who inherited more than half of what he has. Despite Fofo's extreme arrogance, the CJNG- It's always the people that have been Put on by their family, be the one that talks the most shit. Be bragging about the things that they they never worked hard for at all. I ain't gonna lie. I, I want to put my kids on my future kids when I get rich, wealthy, stupid rich. I want to put my kids in this position, but I'm not gonna have my kid talking this much shit on the internet because that's um no, you ain't doing that. Sorry, you're not doing that. Mm -mm. Plus, it's a lot of things that you really can't say on the internet because that can really backfire and don't be threatening no cartels. That's nothing to play with. G never wound up hurting him. However, just six months ago, he brutally beat a woman during a traffic conflict in the parking lot of a shopping center. As a result, he's currently in prison, but that's still a better outcome than what happened to Pamela Montenegro. She played a character on YouTube named Nana Palukas, initially posting innocent videos where, for example, she'd interview random shoppers. However, her content slowly made a political shift, interviewing government officials, about the problems created by Mexico's cartels. Well, Pamela also owned a restaurant named A Todos Los Santos, around which the cartel began hanging banners, accusing Pamela of colluding with the government. Incredibly, even after this, she continued making her videos and working at the restaurant, although, as you might expect, it didn't end well. During one of her shifts in the evening, two men walked in and each ordered a beer before shooting Pamela point blank and fleeing the scene immediately. Mm. When security officers arrived at the scene after 7pm, the 36-year-old woman had already died. Mm. A member of the Acapulco cartel was tried for her murder, but was dismissed on the grounds of insufficient evidence, ironically acting wow. as an example of the political corruption she often discussed. In Mexico, you can't even make fun of politics without being murdered. That is crazy, bro. You, hey, man. Like, I, I, I don't know about going to Mexico. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm good. I am good. Yeah, you just need to stay off the internet when you're going into these countries, bro. Stay off the internet. Don't be talking crazy. It's a big world, but they can still find you. They know your face. They know what you look like. They can track you. It's crazy how they got almost as much power, if not more power, than the actual government but we ain't gonna talk about that but that's it for this reaction video i'll catch you guys in the next one